Hello guys, I'm Chitrang Dixit and today we will see web development with Python Flask. Python Flask is used along with WorksDoc and Jinja 2. So Flask is a micro framework in Python. So it is an MVC model view and controller. We have the model, the data which would surround our application always. There are some views of the data and some controller functions that would control the flow of pages or routes in our application. Now here is WebSock. WebSock is a WSGI utility library. What WSGI is, is it initializes your Python interpret interpreter and the, when the web server gets started. Other is Jinja2. Jinja2 is a templating language for Python. So under the HTML template we would use Jinja2 as we pass on our objects from a Python file to an HTML file. This Jinja2 would be helpful to make those objects recognizable in our HTML pages. Now let's get started. This is my terminal. I've made a new folder named Flask Desk. The best way to use Python Flask is to make a first a virtual environment. So you should have installed this utility named virtual env. So what it would do, it would initialize a virtual environment of a Python. So I'm making this flask virtual. And when I hit enter, it is making a virtual environment. and it is done. So it has made Flask virtual environment. So it, it has all leads of Python. So I can view my Python installation over here. I have several utilities of Python and all modules installed inside packages. So I've just easy installed setup tools and PIP installed in my modules packages, side packages. So let's install Python Flask. So to use a virtual environment, to install anything in virtual environment, what we would use is name first the virtual environment. then bin and easy install flask so what it does it would install flask with its dependencies so flask dependency would be worksock and jinja2 so i'm pressing enter Just searching for python flask Now, as the command gets finished, all the dependencies of Python Flask has been installed. One is Markov Safe, then WorkSock, Jinja2, It's Dangerous, and Flask. All has been installed in Flask Virtual. So, now activate our virtual environment. To activate our virtual environment, there's a command named source flask virtual bin and activate oops uh, this is my terminal now when I hit enter the flask virtual environment has been activated now I make up a new flask App. but before that we'll check that has flask been installed in our python or not so just type python and then import 
flask yes python has been installed uh, sorry flask has been installed in our virtual environment Same. so make up a simple application I'm making a simple app to test is flask working properly with all its dependencies or not so just type nano app dot flask app dot pi so this is flask app dot pi I'm writing some code from flask from flask import flask I'm naming my app first app app dot route with his index f name is equals to main then app dot run I save this I come out of this and from a Linux terminal just run Python flask app dot pi and I hit enter it would run up the server at the local host with port 5000 so I would open up this link and yes it is working properly Press Control Three, then Nano again to view our code. So this was our simple code to run our very first Flask application. We can add up more things later on, but for now, please have a look at the code. So I'm importing a Flask class that take up takes up some name, which would be our application name be a brand name or something like that you can say that and at, and at app root slash means at the default at app root which would load up when our application would run at the very first time it should print out yes it is working right now I add up some more app routes so at the rate app dot route next I define next root return oh yes it is next so just remember the program at the app root slash it is yes it is working and when I type slash next it would give us the message oh yes it is the next so I am saving this coming out of this running the flask app usually python space flask app dot pi when I hit enter it would start up the web server I would open up the link and see over here this is actually the root so localhost this is root when I press slash and then refresh the page it would open up the app dot route slash but I when I put a slash and then next it would show up the next message that we have typed in so yes it has shown up the next message which was oh yes it is the next 
so this was all about our very first application a beginner application in python flask hope you've enjoyed and learned some new stuff please try out with making more routes at your own thanks for watching please subscribe